during mindfulness practice. This allows us to gain better control over our thoughts and actions, paving the way for increased motivation. Concurrently, mindfulness exercises help to quiet the amygdala, our brain's alarm system. Often, when we're faced with a stressful situation, the amygdala goes into overdrive, triggering the fight-or-flight response. However, mindfulness can reduce this response, leading to lower stress levels. And guess what? Lower stress levels can, in turn, lead to an increase in motivation. When we're less stressed, we're more likely to tackle challenges head-on, rather than avoid them. Now, let's talk about the hippocampus, the part of our brain responsible for learning and memory. Mindfulness has been shown to increase the density of the hippocampus, enhancing our ability to learn from our experiences and remember our goals. This improved learning capacity and memory recall can significantly boost our motivation to achieve our objectives. On a deeper level, mindfulness can help break negative thought patterns. You see, we often get caught in a cycle of negative thinking, which can be a significant drain on our motivation. By practicing mindfulness, we become more aware of these thoughts and can consciously choose to let them go, replacing them with more positive, motivating thoughts. In a nutshell, mindfulness can, quite literally, change our brains. It can foster motivation by reducing stress, enhancing our decision-making and learning abilities, and breaking negative thought patterns. Understanding the science behind mindfulness and motivation gives us insight into how these practices can transform our lives. Now, let's hear from some individuals who have seen the benefits of mindfulness in their own lives. First up is Sarah, a busy corporate lawyer who, like many of us, was feeling overwhelmed. She began incorporating mindfulness into her everyday routine, taking five minutes each morning to focus on her breath, the sensations in her body, and the sounds around her. She managed to turn her mornings from chaotic to calming. Sarah shares that this practice not only helped her start her day on a positive note, but also increased her motivation and resilience in the face of her demanding career. Then we have James, a university student who struggled with procrastination James felt he was always in a race against time, and his anxiety was through the roof. He decided to try mindfulness meditation as a way to manage his stress levels. To his surprise, he found that it also dramatically improved his motivation. By learning to be present and not worry about the future, James says he became more focused, more productive, and less prone to procrastination. Next is Maya, a single mother of three who was grappling with self-doubt and negative thought patterns. She found that mindfulness exercises, such as observing her thoughts without judgment, helped her challenge and change her negative self-talk. With time, Maya noticed a significant increase in her motivation levels, her ability to handle stress, and her overall sense of well-being. Lastly, let's hear from John, a retiree who felt lost after his kids moved out and he stopped working. John turned to mindfulness, practicing mindful walking and eating. He found solace in these simple acts, and they gave him a newfound sense of purpose. John shares that mindfulness has not only filled his days with joy, but also motivated him to take on new hobbies and adventures. These real-life stories illustrate the transformative power of mindfulness when it comes to motivation. Are you ready to harness the power of mindfulness for motivation? Here are some exercises to get you started. First, let's start with a simple mindfulness exercise called the mindful breathing. This exercise requires no special equipment or location. Simply find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, hold for a moment, and then exhale. As you breathe, pay attention to the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. The goal here is not to control your breathing, but simply to observe it. This practice of observing without judgment is the essence of mindfulness. Next, we have the body scan. This is a mindfulness exercise that encourages you to focus on different parts of your body, one at a time, from your toes to your head. As you focus on each part, take note of any sensations you feel, whether it's warmth, coolness, tension, or relaxation. Again, the aim is not to judge or change these sensations, but to simply notice them. Now let's move on to mindful eating. This practice involves paying full attention to the experience of eating, from the appearance and smell of the food to the texture and taste as you chew. 
By eating mindfully, you can cultivate a greater appreciation for your food and perhaps even discover new flavors you've never noticed before. Finally, loving kindness meditation is a powerful mindfulness practice for cultivating positive feelings. In this exercise, you'll start by directing well wishes to yourself. Then, you'll extend these well wishes to others, starting with loved ones and gradually including neutral people, difficult people, and finally, all sentient beings. This practice can help to foster a sense of connection and compassion, which are key ingredients for motivation. Remember, mindfulness is a skill that takes practice. So, don't be discouraged if you find it difficult at first. Keep at it, and over time, you'll start to notice a shift in your mindset. You'll find yourself more present, more focused, and more motivated. With these mindfulness exercises, you are well equipped to boost your motivation and resilience. As we conclude our exploration of mindfulness and motivation, let's summarize what we've learned. Mindfulness is a powerful tool that can help us cultivate motivation and resilience. It allows us to be present in the moment, to acknowledge our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This clarity can help us overcome obstacles like procrastination, self-doubt, and negative thought patterns. We've heard from mindfulness experts who've shared their insights and research. We've also listened to real-life stories of individuals who've transformed their lives by incorporating mindfulness into their daily routines. Remember, practicing mindfulness doesn't require a lot of time or special equipment. You can start with just a few minutes each day, and even simple activities like breathing exercises or meditation can make a significant difference. Remember, mindfulness is more than just a practice. It's a way of life and it's a life that can be full of motivation, resilience, and positivity. Thank you for joining us on this journey.